Having said that, be curious, try to understand why, be philosophical for the next 20 lecture. And believe me, this is the thing, the Python is going to be so natural if you're just curious and try to understand why behind thing. Having said that, let's talk about how CPU work, right? And I think we have discussed about this board many times, but now we are going little bit, a little bit deeper into the concept which we discussed previously, right? And now here we are talking about CPU. This yellow color st structure is very, very important, right? It is one of the most costly uh, equipment of your computer, which turns thousands, maybe billions of instructions or millions of instructions, millions of computation in a second, right? This is the CPU. And now I am adding few more things into the CPU. The CPU also have some units which can store data. And those units in the CPU which can store data are known as registers. Just give me 10 to 20 minutes of time to explain this concept. If you understand this, it is going to be really, really great. If you ask why, it is going to be great, right? Whatever comes to your mind, please do ask. Just raise your hand. So right now, what I want to say here is we have a CPU and CPU also can store data, but very little data into its registers, right? And I am taking example of three registers. I am giving the name of the first register as INS. Maybe the full form is instruction, right? But it is not important because we do not want to understand any term in, uh, terminology before understanding it. So maybe the name is INS. This guy name is A and this guy name is B, right? What I want to do, I want this CPU to run a job for me. What is the meaning of a job? I want the CPU to add two numbers for me. Very, very simple thing, right? Because CPU in today's world can do many complex things. What I want here is I want Mr. CPU to do basic addition for me. I have two numbers. First number is 20 and the second number is 30. I want these two numbers to be added by the CPU. And we all know from our previous lectures that CPU doesn't do anything on its own. He needs somebody to tell him what he what it should do, and that somebody is actually memory. So basically, CPU fetch these codes or whatever you write in this memory, right? And then try to understand the meaning of it, and then try to do whatever you are saying, right? Very, very interesting. So what basically, if CPU, if I want CPU to perform addition of two numbers, I need to write down all the instructions inside this memory because CPU takes instructions from the memory. And on the basis of those instructions, CPU is going to work. It is as simple as that, right? So here are the, my four instructions which I have written to this uh, CPU, sorry, in the memory. The first instruction is at the zeroth location. The second instruction is the first location. Why? It can be any numbering scheme, but I am just marking that the first instruction, this one, is actually at the zeroth location. The second instruction is the first location. The third instruction is the second location, and so on. And similarly, the numbers which I want to add, I have placed them into the memory location number fifth which is right here and the memory location number six which is right here it is as simple as that so basically these are the two numbers which i want to add and i would like to inform the cpu mr cpu you need to perform addition of these two numbers but how i am going to do that so basically this happens because cpu knows the meaning of each and every instruction which is coming from the memory. For example, first instruction, which is at the zeroth location, right now is at here. First thing first, Mr. CPU does is, whatever the uh, instruction is placed at the initial location, how it find about the initial location, it's a totally different thing to know, right? We can go even, we can talk about it later. Try to assume, try to presume number one thing here is that the CPU knows 
where the first instruction is written and now in this case the first instruction is written as the zeroth location of the memory and now what it is going to do it is going to fetch this instruction and it is going to install this instruction or capture or save this instruction into this instruction register it means that what is going to be written here inside the instruction register one zero one one double zero one zero one it is as simple as that right now computer cpu has this instruction but who what is the meaning of this instruction who is going to tell this guy which is the cpu what is the meaning of this instruction at the end of the day it is 10110101 this is just the binary number and here is the thing whoever has developed this cpu whoever any xyz person maybe this cpu is developed by intel right believe me it is just not a piece of metal there are so many circuits inside the cpu which are there to do some specific work and this guy this intel guy has made some meaning to these zeros and ones for example if this is present in instruction register the meaning is means this is a special pattern for the cpu cpu see that okay its instruction register has some ones and zeros it will try to match with its set of instructions so basically this guy intel has defined various combinations of ones and zeros and what is the meaning of those ones and zeros so if this combination come in the instruction register the meaning is load a5 and now you must be thinking what is the meaning of this load a5 right the meaning of this load a5 is mr cpu just load your register a which is this register with whatever is written on memory location number 5 very very interesting so first thing try to understand the logic right basically instruction register is going to get the first instruction written in the memory and somebody who has created this intel cpu has defined its meaning right if something with this pattern comes 10110101 the meaning is load a5 load a5 meaning is whatever at the fifth memory location just fetch it and install in memory location number a it means sorry register number a it means that at the end of the execution of this instruction your register a is going to have value number 20 it is as simple as that now cpu knows that he it has done all the things necessary for this command now this command is executed execution means whatever this command needs to done needs to do cpu has done that now the cpu is very very intelligent it is going to fetch the very next command written right so previously basically it was fetching the command from zero from where it got the zero it is the different topic but for now it is going to take the next command just after the zero which is this one zero zero one one zero one 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 zero it means that the next command which is going to written in the cpu it is going to be zero zero one one zero one 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 zero the second com uh, the, the the command which is at the or the instruction in the memory just after the previous instruction right now again cpu guy is thinking okay i got an instruction in my instruction register which say double zero one one zero triple one zero i need to match with my manual so basically this is kind of a manual of a cpu where we have defined all the pattern with the action to do and now this pattern matches the second means load b6 what is the meaning the meaning is load whatever is written on the memory location number six into the register number b it means that this 30 value is going to be inside here it is as simple as that very very interesting now the second command is also get executed cpu is intelligent enough to know that the next command is written at the next value of the memory which is the memory number two it is going to fetch this instruction from the memory the it means that 
this is gone now why because this is executed this statement is done by the cpu now and it is happening so fast right now the statement number whatever is written here will be in the instruction register of the cpu means 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, which is this instruction right cpu is going to fetch from the memory and now this guy is pretty cool right he will be seeing that okay instruction register has now the new command new instruction and now the instruction this instruction means in the manual to add and the cpu knows where to add what to add because cpu has only two registers for arithmetic purpose for doing the computation it knows if this command means add i need to add a plus b and interestingly after adding it this add command also say whatever the add, add results were you need to store them in a it means that this command the third instruction cpu is going to add 20 plus 30 and then basically the result it is going to store right here 50 it means that this 20 is gone from the a why because after the addition operation a is going to get the result this is written in the manual of cpu now what is going to happen the cpu is intelligent enough to take the next statement next instruction from the memory which is 0, 0, 0. 110010. This guy is intelligent enough to understand that this is should be somewhere in the manual. If it is not the manual, it is not, it cannot do anything. But if it is in the manual, it is going to see this. Okay. The meaning is store A7. Now there is some different operation. Store means it is saying whatever you have in your register number A, register with the name A, 27 you need to store whatever is there in the register number a to memory location number seven what is the meaning the meaning is this 50 now will be stored in seven means right here so this is the first value this is the second value this is the sum value right this is how cpu is going to add two numbers and store the value of the sum into a particular memory location now it is up to your program what you want to do with it you can write another instruction to print this number on the terminal maybe the print statement right very very interesting okay so why i am telling you this i'm telling you this because whatever you write here right you need to write these four binary number into particular sequence sequence number one means to load value 20 into a sequence number two of binary numbers which is going to say cpu load value 30 into b sequence number three you say add one and two sequence number four you say store the value this is something the instructions you are writing right these set of instruction is actually your program because it is doing some meaningful work it is doing some work means if you write some instructions in a way that if it is performing an operation for you then basically it is a program or you can say anything which is into the computer memory and cpu is actually fetching those memory and doing some work then basically your program is in the execution mode your cpu is executing your program program execution means just simple cpu takes whatever is written into the memory it takes those instruction inside the instruction register do whatever it needs to do if it is doing something it means that it is executing your instruction right and if it is executing your instruction step by step in the same order which you, you uh, whatever you have written it means that it is executing your complete program it is as simple as that now i would like to take a pause here right this topic is really crucial to understand and the reason is at the end of the day we are going to write these set of sequence you need to understand what exactly happening behind the scene and believe me the programmer in the early 90s maybe 55 to 90s 70s were writing the program in this form only if they need to write addition program they need to write these ones and zeros very very interesting try to think 
how hard the programming at that point of time because you need to write instructions which are in binary form and binary or this 1010 is more close to machine machine can understand it but not human beings so try to understand to begin with the programming was difficult but not now you don't find a programmer nowadays who is writing programs in ones and zeros right there are so many good languages which are more closer to us very very interesting now i would like to take a little pause here so that whatever question is coming to your mind any curious question please do ask